Greetings, world, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit. I'm going to be sharing with you some information about the Youngstown Community Center under the direction of the Skills to Success LLC company here in Youngstown, Ohio. And basically what we're doing here as a nonprofit is building a focus for those in the community to understand who we are and what we do. And so I wanted to use this time to share that this project is very unique. It's 21st century, okay? So we're going to talk about the very thing that I did wrong. The very first thing I did wrong as a business developer when communicating with the Youngstown Community Center. The Youngstown Community Center is a multifaceted nonprofit 501c3 that specializes in activities for youth, young adult, and senior sector. I did, however, give myself credit for the success and the revenue that has come from the, the multiple streams of income that comes through the center. So that's a great, awesome thing. That's what keeps us up. And so I was under the assumption that grants would cover everything that the organization would need. I was very misinformed. I have come from a background where organizations, financial strategies and revenues were not provided to me. So from the outside looking in, I assume that, oh, if this organization can get $500,000 for a grant program to start a project such as a diversion program, then they run off of grants. Oh, that's so easy. We put the project together. We put the programming together. But come to find out when you look at grant math, if you will, we find that a nonprofit is only supposed to run off of grant funding at a percentage. So based upon your nonprofit organization, you have to decide what percentage does the federal government expect you to maintain your day-to-day -day operational expenses and costs from grants. So people think that you're going to run into <laughs> a million-dollar business through grants. You can apply here, you can apply there, you can apply everywhere, and everyone's going to give it to you because you are doing the purpose and the mission and your vision is on point. That's not true. Being focused on how you're going to build your revenue, being focused on how you're going to maintain what it is that you have created for yourself as your nonprofit passion is the key. And that's what I'm finding out today. So no one's supposed to help me with my passion, except for those who are in alignment with my passion. So I had it totally twisted, family. I had it twisted. So basically, what does success look like for your nonprofit is where you're going to get your revenue and your foundation and your structure and everything that is involved. So if I'm a business developer, in my case, for example, I would be strategizing on success on residual income on income that is going to sustain me over time. Income that protects, income that protects the vision. So my vision has to align as a business developer to the vision of the community and its need. And so as a business developer, business is the need. 
employment is the need to be able to feed families, individuals, to be able to purchase vehicles. So it just makes sense to stay in alignment with that vision, right? So, so I'm, I'm finding that I expected more from someone else than I expected to do for myself. And I've never been that type of individual to believe in others more than I believed in me. And so as a nonprofit chronicle topic, I would like to include having clear expectations when you're starting a nonprofit so that the mistakes won't take years before you open your eyes and see that you can apply for a grant every day. And it's just like the lottery. You have no idea who's going to say yes to this, who's going to say yes to that, but with revisions, who's going to say yes with uh, whatever their perks would be included in it, like a loan that goes for a certain amount of time to pay off, but it's still going to be reduced as the years move on. Hmm. These are things that we find out in the nonprofit world. When we're trying to do our basic function of a nonprofit, which is making sure that we are changing a life situation. Employment is changing a life situation. It is the epiphany difference between being homeless and having a home. Not just any home, a home of your dream, a home of your standards, a home where you can go and have money in the bank to where you can pay for your own roof, buy your own new vehicle. Employment. And this is why business is such a big factor when dealing in nonprofit, because a lot of people feel that it is not a business. It is a business. And we need to focus on the lucrative perspectives of how we're going to sustain ourselves over time. Because yes, we can have funders and backers all day long. And I will never forget that it is the the purpose and the vision to show proof and show relevance to the success that we are bringing to our lives, whether it's even dealing with our children in our home. We have to show success. They're getting up. They're going to school. They're being accountable. They're being responsible. They're taking, doing their chores. We're paying them. Business starts at a very young age. And so with that thought, how we're going to sustain the vision, and the mission, and the purpose for being a nonprofit is vital. So what are some steps to doing that? I would like you to leave some comments in the comment box below if you have some ideas. That would help even those who have been existing for 20 years in the business. We're always going to learn something new every day. Okay. So as we build our purpose and our mission, the first thing we need to understand is that it is not other people's responsibility, not even our volunteers, not even our staff members. But it is the leaders on the level of authority that needs to make sure that alignment to our vision and our purpose is continually thought about. So that means I can't be at that meeting over there. I can't be at this meeting over here. I can send a representative. But if it's not in alignment with the purpose of my nonprofit, I'm not going to be available. 
I'm going to be able to say no. Why? Because the goal of our nonprofit is to make sure we are in 100% alignment to the purpose of our mission and our vision. For example, the Youngstown Community Center is about providing events, activities, programs, food giveaways, clothing giveaways, bringing business development, bringing people in so that they will know who we are. So when they have a party like our graduation party that's coming up, they can say, oh, I went to this place for that free giveaway over there. And I remember they have space. I wonder if I can use it for a baby shower. I wonder if I could use that big room for a class seminar. I wonder if I can use that room to bring clientele to my health industry. I wonder if I could use that room over there to provide for a place to do my arts and crafts and sell them. Business makes business. And that's the key. Number two, connecting and aligning people to do the job in which needs to be done professionally, ethically, morally, consistently. These are the other factors that I found that are extremely vital and important to running the Youngstown Community Center. And one of the things I say is consistent, consistent, consistent. When you have a business, it's just like a baby. When that baby is born, you're going to wake up three, four, five times a night and you're going to have to feed the baby. You're going to have to feed your baby. So when you look at a nonprofit, you look at an LLC, you look at a sole proprietorship, you look at the mentorship of just leadership in and of itself, you are going to find that you're going to have to feed your baby. (laughs) And sometimes the father, the volunteers, the staff members, the board of directors, they may not be available. So you're going to have to be the accountable parent to this dream that you're trying to make happen. And number three, putting a time limit on your success because you shouldn't constantly be continually trying to save the world with the same problem you started out with years ago, you should have been successful in some way. Or we're doing business wrong, (laughs) totally wrong. So your programming should not be a, a forever thing. It should always be evolving. It should always be growing like your baby. You should, you know, see her or him mature to the age that they are accountable for themselves, meaning making the business sustainable. So when you move on to another topic, you move on to another uh, uh, project, it continues to run. It continues to move. And then you come back and you just check and make sure that the vision is still being accounted for. So that's what I wanted to get on to talk about today. April 25th is a great day. It's a day that says that you can go out there and you can be your ultimate best with your new idea to help the world become a better place. Because each one of us are responsible for doing our part, making sure that the world is okay. I like to thank all my new businesses. I like to thank all my new subscribers. I know this is a collaborative channel. I am doing a project, a national project. I mean, we would call it um, a world project, if you will, with the appeal format of R. Kelly. And that is also included, but Chronicles of a Nonprofit 
it's a separate podcast. You don't even have to. When you subscribe, only check out the Chronicles of a Nonprofit if you don't want to know about what's going on in the appeal world. Um, that will make it better for you. So you'll know exactly what you're getting when you're starting to listen to the podcast. So Chronicles of a Nonprofit will look just like what's in front of you on this video at all times. It'll be on the screenshot as well. So feel free to only watch those episodes. Okay. Thank you so much. Be your ultimate best today. And if you need me, you know, I'm here for you. You know uh, that you can contact me. I am uh, available at 330-956-0511. And uh, yeah, so good luck on your vision, okay? And just remember to stay extremely focused because others may try to bring you to their perspective so you will end up helping them more than you're helping yourself, okay? So peace and as always, stay consistent. Bye.